Hello there, my friends. Chris Mark is here with you Friday, October 13th. That's right, it's the Friday the 13th. And to celebrate, we have another video about Bitcoin today. Perhaps you've noticed Bitcoin has soared to new highs, broke through 5,000 yesterday, and didn't just break through mildly, went up to 5,700. I guess all as high as 5,900 yesterday. So interesting from the standpoint that got into 5,000 about a month, month and a half ago before China said they were shutting down some of the exchanges and Jamie Dimon of JP Morgan said that Bitcoin was a fraud. Again, we've seen uh, stories that um, JP Morgan's been a big buyer of Bitcoin. So again, I toss his commentary aside. I think the China news was perhaps more relevant, although from the standpoint that it seems like people are already working on solutions around whatever the governments may try to do. Um, perhaps if we have any sophisticated Bitcoin experts out there, you can leave a comment on that below. But from what I'm reading, I don't think it's a situation where any government will be able to say, all right, we're shutting it down and it just stops. I don't believe that's the technological nature of how the product works. So in either case, the market, there hasn't been anything else that significant since then. So interesting to think that, all right, it was up about 5,000. We had these stories, it traded lower, and now we're higher. So... My mind, uh, I see that as some sort of acknowledgement that that's not going to slow down what's happening here. Although a few a few thoughts about what is happening. I was listening to a lot of great interviews and doing a lot of research yesterday. And in particular, one of my current favorites is Rob Kirby. And he was talking about how you see the, the Chinese... Uh, buying oil in yuan, which convertible to gold, and just these stories that seemingly come out, whether it's Venezuela saying we don't want the dollar, or Russia moving away from the dollar, and, you know, why is everybody all of a sudden now moving away from the dollar, and is there a connection between that and what we're seeing in the crypto space? Because... Certainly, I've been sitting here and, and learning as quickly as much as I can. And on one hand, if the things that I'm understanding about the cryptos are correct and it really can change industry and life as we know it and take out so much of this middleman infrastructure cost and provide a stable currency, well, certainly you could see it going a lot higher because... One of the things I came across, I've been looking for this for a while. Apparently there's 14 million registered Bitcoin wallets, which means, now let's say assume that's one per person, so about 14 million people who might be owners. That's 0.2% of the population, so not even 1%. So certainly if you look at these things together where... Again, I can't tell you for sure yet that we're seeing the mass exodus of the dollar, although it could have already begun. If all these people who are holding dollars are moving away from them, as we're seeing in the news on a daily basis. Now, again, if you're here in the U.S. or just walking around the street in some of the Western countries, you don't see it day to day, but these things are happening. And certainly if you've been a precious metals investor over the past couple of years, it can get confusing because you see so many things happening yet the price doesn't move and you wonder these, you know, it, it almost feels like it loses its meaning at times yet. It's interesting to think is, are the cryptos rising because we're seeing the money leave? And is this money going to flow into gold and silver, which could be the catalyst to finally drive the metals higher? So in either case, that's, uh, that's what I'm looking at uh, these days. And certainly I have, uh, I'm increasing my Bitcoin allocation a little bit. Um, and let me 
me clarify that by saying, uh, again, having traded for a professional shop before, I think there's a degree of intuition that also goes into this and how something feels. You want to also support that with facts. So, um, But when I mix all these together, and especially as I, I find it's helpful to listen to people who are using the technology, listen to the coders, list not doesn't do me as much good to listen to a gold and silver guy that has never investigated into this. Not that those opinions aren't valid, but the more I listen to the people who are actually using it and learn about what the applications are, certainly the more excited I get about the investment profile. So with that said, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be keeping you posted on what I find out. Hopefully you're finding these helpful. And with that said, have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday.